David Bennett had been given six months to live and didn't qualify to receive a human heart. Doctors told him there was no guarantee he'd survive receiving a heart transplanted from a pig. This patient um, was given an opportunity for this, um, this experimental transplant with the idea in mind that we didn't know what the outcome might be, but it wasn't going to be worse than traditional therapy. A gene-edited pig heart was used to reduce the risk of the patient's body rejecting the organ. And three days after surgery, doctors say he's doing well. Bennett's son says his father is glad he made the difficult decision. He realizes um, the magnitude of what was done, um, and he real realizes the importance of it um, and talking with him. Um, I've never in my life um, heard or seen my dad cry, but I think he realized the, the seriousness of his condition in the last couple weeks. Decades of research went into the medical breakthrough. It was always said that xenotransplantation is the future and always will be. This was quoted multiple times. I would like to say that xenotransplantation is now the present. In the United States alone, an estimated 10,000 people die every year waiting for a transplant. It's one of the reasons there's cautious excitement. I think it's significant because we don't have a source of human organ replacement uh, of sufficient numbers to answer demand. Um, and not only demand, but a timely demand. But for now, David Bennett and his family have been thrown a lifeline. Barbara Angopa, Al Jazeera.